To get the validation that we want in our form array, we're going to expand on the class here up under form errors. We'll create a new array inside of here. We'll have addresses, and this will be an array. And inside of this array, we're going to have multiple different controls, which is going to be groups for our addresses. So the first one we're going to create on the fly, and that will be built with our form. Then as we do add address, we're going to add multiple new lines under here. That will all be done in our validate addresses method that we're about to create. Right now, this is good enough to start our form. Let's create our validation messages as well. And we'll do the same for country. Now, ideally on reactive form component HTML, here up above, we're just going over form errors.name. And if that exists, display it. Down here, we have to do it a little bit differently. We're not going to do all of that. We're going to say ng if form errors dot addresses, and then we'll look at the index and grab the city from there. We'll take this, copy that, and that will be good enough for all types of errors. So no matter how many validation rules we add on the class, this one line in our template will do enough to handle all of it. We'll copy this and put it down here for the country. And that will be good. Now the last order of business is to make our validate addresses method. We have validate form here. We'll create validate addresses. And then in our validate form, we're going to call this dot validate addresses. Now the reason I'm doing this in a separate method is that it's a little bit clearer since this method is named and we don't want to make this too long and too convoluted. What are the steps for validating all of these addresses? Let's take a look at our form. And these are going to throw errors right now since we don't have these bound to anything. That will be okay for now. We'll just go ahead and move forward. If we have multiple addresses, we're going to create a loop that goes through each address. We're going to grab the form array, this entire thing here, and we're going to say loop through each of these groups. So that's one group, two group. So we're going to grab the addresses form array, let addresses equal form array, We need to clear the form errors, this dot form errors dot addresses is equal to a new array that totally clears that form errors addresses we created earlier. Now we can loop through however many form groups are in the form array. Let n equal 1, so we have our counter here. We'll have while n is less than or equal to addresses. And if we looked at the form array earlier, we have the length method, which tells us how many groups are in here. Now we're looping through each form group inside of our form array. We're going to add the clear errors back this dot form errors dot addresses dot push so no errors for both of these yet 
Now that we have the index and the form array, let's grab the specific group. So this will be the form group right here. We're going to grab each specific group as we loop through. Right now we only have the index, and we're going to use that index to grab the specific group, also known as address, singular. Let address, and we're going to type hint it as a form group, addresses at n minus 1. Now the reason we do that is that form array uses a JavaScript array to do their numbering, so it starts at 0, hours we started at 1. So we'll just do minus 1 here, validate that specific group. We're going to loop through the groups controls. For let field in address dot controls. Now we're finally at the level where we can look at the city and the country in each. This part is going to look pretty similar to the above part where we did let field in this dot form errors and we looped over that. So this is going to be kind of similar, not the exact same though. Let input equal to address dot get field. Get the form control. This is going to get us in the form group. This will get us each specific form control. So now let's say this is the address's city or address's country since we're looping over them. Finally, we can do the validation and save error to form errors if necessary. If the input is invalid and the input is dirty, for let error in input.errors, we're going to add the error to the form errors array that we have earlier, this.formerrors.addresses and we're going to grab n minus 1 and we're going to grab the field inside of that is equal to this dot validation messages addresses field and the error I know that seems like a lot and there's a lot of looping in there but now as our addresses grow and we add more validation rules this will be able to handle all of that the last thing that we can't forget to do is we want to make sure that we increment n equals 1. So in our while loop, we're going to say n plus plus. This way we can actually break out of this loop. If we don't add this, we might stay in this loop forever. All right, let's give that a try. That works. That works. Delete that. City is required. Delete that. We have country is required. All right, those validations work again, and all we have to do is let's try another validation. When we build our form in city, let's do validators dot min length is three, and we already have the min length rule added up here. No change to our HTML, no change to our validate addresses method. Let's give it a try. All right. Looks like that's working. City must be three characters. City must be three characters. If we add another address, notice that there is no error shown for this one. Now why is that? Let's go take a look at the class. On our build form method, up here, we had this.formbuilder.group and the validators.minLength is three. So when we created this form group, we had the validator on that form control. But when we add a new address, if we go down here to add address, there is no validator here. This is going to confuse things since now we're creating addresses at two separate locations. One for the very first address and two when we're adding new addresses. We can simplify this problem and make sure that we're not repeating ourselves by adding a new method and we'll call it create address and we'll return this dot group and let's copy these two let's add the validator here 
Now, instead of defining a new group each time down here, we'll just do this dot create address. We'll copy this and do the same when we build the form all the way at the beginning here. Now we have one singular place where we, where we create a brand new address and it's used in two different locations. Let's give it a shot. We have our city must be three characters here and we have city must be three characters there. Now our code is a little bit more condensed. Our template is pretty clean and it's pretty easy to read what's going on in here. Now we can start adding in some comment blocks, build the initial form. Down here we can say validate the entire form, validate the addresses form array, Now, if another developer comes into this project, our methods are clearly named. It's pretty easy to navigate what's going on. And overall, our form works exactly how we expect it to.